A reading from the second book of Samuel. Now when David the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See, now I am living in the house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in the tent. Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel, whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth, and I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may live in their own place, and be disturbed no more, and evil doers shall afflict them no more, as formerly from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you, David, that the Lord will make you a house. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 89 and the response. Truly the Lord is our shield. Truly the Lord is our shield. My song shall be always of the loving kindness of the Lord. With my mouth will I proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I will declare that you have established forever. You have set your faithfulness as firm as the heavens. Truly the Lord is our shield. For you said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David my servant. Your seed will I establish forever and build up your throne for all generations. Truly the Lord is our shield. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set a youth above the mighty. I have raised a young man over the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. Truly the Lord is our shield. My hand shall hold him fast and my arm shall strengthen him. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked person afflict him. I will strike down his foes before his face, and beat down those that hate him. Truly the Lord is our shield. My truth also and my steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name shall his head be exalted. I will set his dominion upon the sea, and his right hand upon the rivers. Truly the Lord is our shield. He shall call to me, you are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Truly the Lord is our shield. A second reading, a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. To God who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith, to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.